so the approved piezoelectric kinase inhibitor uh, is a palisive, is the alpha selective inhibitor that we're now using for pic 3 c mutated metastatic breast cancer uh, that's endocrine resistant. Uh, but there are, you know, toxicities associated with the, the drug, such as hyperglycemia, rash, diarrhea, uh, which are uh, kind of on-target side effects from PI3K inhibitors. Um, so people are looking at, um, you know, less toxic approach or PI3K inhibitors. Uh, so at the, actually at the San Antonio meeting, there was the first, uh, the phase three study of um, Innova 120 was presented. Uh, so they randomized patients uh, who are endocrine resistant, uh, essentially uh, people who recurred on adjuvant um, endocrine therapy or uh, you know, recurred within 12 months of completing endocrine therapy were eligible, and they, uh, the the data was very impressive. Um, so they randomized patient to receive um, uh, valvestrin plus pelvo, uh, with or without inovulisib. So inovulisib is a PI3K inhibitor. Um, it's alpha selective, but also has interesting property of able to degrade the mutated PIK3CA. So, and the uh, the PFS um, improvement uh, was, you know, 15 months uh, with the uh, you know, versus you know a little bit over seven months. Um, uh, so, uh, was uh, very impressive data for that population. Um, so that's one um, drug. Uh, the hope is that um, you know Valisa would be available for our patients, uh, and then there are also other um, you know PI3K inhibitor in combination with M3 inhibitor. Actually, uh, Jedetolisib. Uh, uh, this is a drug that targets both PI3K and M2, and this drug uh, also uh, is uh, in the phase three study in combination uh, with valvestrant um, and also with uh, pavocyclid and in the first line setting. So, I mean, um, actually after CDK46 inhibitor and aromatase inhibitor, we'll see uh, whether that would show uh, improvement. And then um, there are several um, allosteric PIK3CA mutant selective inhibitors in development. Um, you know, the examples are the, the Relay uh, 2608 and also the Loxo 783. Uh, so hopefully these drugs would generate uh, a better therapeutic window, so less toxicities uh, and good uh, on-target uh, treatment for PIK3CA mutated cancer.